Okay, uh, good day ladies and gentlemen. So today we're going to talk a little bit about how we can start adding some uh, logic to our games and how to be, make things happen within our games. Um, specifically, this means we're talking about events and actions. So let me just start by recapping where we should be. So if I just press run, uh, here's my simple game. So I've got the platformer action. And then I've got, uh, so that when I go left and right with my key arrow keys, and if I press up, uh, my character jumps. And I've got the scroll to behavior as well. So that as my player moves, the scroll to behavior means that the camera will follow my character around the screen. Okay, so that's where you should be. If you're not there, go back and look at the other videos, look at the other lessons. Uh, contact me okay if you are there then we're ready to move forward okay so let's talk about events and actions right so events and actions what I want to think about is this okay when we have our game uh, something will happen and then when something happens we can trigger a bunch of steps that will uh, that we can do in react in reaction to that thing that's happening. So here's what I mean. Uh, and the easiest way to think about this is actually it's just to say when something happens, do this. Okay. So for instance, when the user presses the up key, then jump, or when the user presses the space key, then shoot. Okay. So that means that we've got this event. Users press the key, uh, and then we've got a bunch of actions associated with it. Okay, and as you can see, we can have a single event. So when one thing happens, and then we can have a whole bunch of steps to do. So it's not just a case of having one event and one action. It's one event, lots of actions we can have. Okay, so here's some examples. Uh, when a player collides with a trap, restart the level. So if we have traps in our platform, maybe spikes, and your player collides with them, then restart the level. Okay. Uh, or when a player collides with a key, so we'll have a little uh, key icon on the screen, uh, then end the game. Okay, so uh, the way that we're going to win this game, if you like, is by collecting the key. So we'll, when the player collides with a key, then we're going to end the game. Now I said the word collides there. What does that mean? So collides in terms of um, uh, construct three. This is when two objects overlap, okay? So if I have object one and object two and then near each other, then there's no collision. If I have object one and object two and they even slightly overlap, then that means that there's been a collision. So this is an event and we can detect when that event happens and then have a bunch of actions in association to it, okay? So events, actions, one event can have multiple actions and we can use the language of when something happens do this okay and one such event is collisions where when one object overlaps another object that's when we have a collision okay so before we uh before we go on to our game there's a couple of things we want to do the first thing we want to do is add another layout so that once we finish this platform we can tell the player, okay, well done, you finished the platform, that's the end of the game, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is add another layout. And add a layout, it's gonna have, uh, just add a layout on its own. Um, here's the screen. And I'm just going to insert a new object, okay? I'm gonna insert a text object and I'm going to call it the message. Okay, I'm going to place it there. And the message is going to be you won. Okay, and that's not particularly big. So let me scroll down here to the font, make it a little larger.
Okay, that's good enough. Right. Now this layout, I'm also going to rename this layout to be player one. Player has one. Okay. So the reason I've done that is so that when the player gets to the end of the level, we can then switch over to this level, to this layout, and then that lets the player know that they've won. Okay. Uh, that's the first thing and then if I go back to level one the next thing we need to do is to add a key okay so add something that allows the player to uh, finish the level so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to insert a new object this object is going to be a sprite and I'm gonna put my sprite by there and this time I'm just going to practice my artistic skills by drawing a pretty rubbish key. Okay. So And this sprite I'm going to rename to be key. Okay, so let's just take a look at my platform now. Okay, I've got a new layout called player has one. I've got a new object called key. Okay, right. So the first bit of functionality I want to add is I want to say if this player manages to get across to the other side and collides with this key then that's the game right then he's won the game okay so here's what we do each layout has an event sheet which lists all of the events that we want to track and all of the actions that we want to do for each event okay so if i click on event sheet one looks empty at the moment this is just an example so I want to add an event and I want to add an event for my player. Okay, so it's when my player, I'm going to scroll down here to collisions. So when my player collides with another object and then it's going to ask me what that other object is. So it's going to be the key. So when my player collides with another object in this case the key okay so when the player collides with the key well now i want to do an action and in this case i want the system to and i scroll down to layout i want to go to layout player has won okay so let's just think about what that how that works when the player collides with the key the system will go to player has one okay so let's just give that a test right so if I play my game over to here right there's my key and then when it collides I've won excellent okay so that's how we can start adding events and actions so We've given the player here a way to end the game successfully. We probably want to have a few traps in there as well. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do is to add some traps. So if I go back to my level, so what we're going to do now is to add some traps. So I'm going to add insert a new object. And this time I'm going to use a tiled background. And I'm going to call it a trap and I'm going to place it there and I'm just going to resize it by pressing these two buttons here and it's going to be ooh, 32 by 32 okay so so what I've done is I've just dragged the um, trap in from the resource files okay um, which looks fine to me and now there's my trap.
Okay. So I'm going to put my first trap there. And maybe I'll make it a little bit longer because I'm feeling. And because it's a, a tiled background, as I extend it out, it'll be, it'll drag as well. So, for instance, I'm just going to put it by there. Okay, so now that I've got my trap here, the next thing I need to do is to add some game logic to it. So again, go back to the event sheet. We want to add an event. When the player, scroll down to collisions. So when the player collides with another object, and that object is my trap, Now I want the system to restart the level. So go to layout, it'll restart the layout. Okay, so here we've got two events and two systems and two actions. So when I press play, up oh, there's my trap and when I hit it, I restart the layout. Or If I jump over it and then make it to the top, I've won. Okay, uh, one other action that's quite useful to have is if we add an event for the player and we scroll down to size and position. So if the player is outside of the layout, then the system should restart the layout. Okay, so if the player is outside of the layout, the system should restart the layout. So let's see what the, how that works. So if instead of going that way, I decide to go this way, I fall, then I fall off the layout and all of a sudden I get restarted again. A bit like Groundhog Day. Good. Okay. So I encourage you to go and have a play with the various actions and various events to see what we can do. Um, there's some really nice functionality that you can build in very simply. Um, and so have a play with it. And uh, I look forward to seeing what you produce soon.